With a blush, she blurts out, I don't know what I would have done without you. Why, you are so fit. Rachel found herself a bit startled at her own forward outburst. She listens with a tenuous delight as Luke drops to a knee and confesses with surety. You are my sunshine. Be my bride. Wow. Who wrote this schlock? This would never occur in real life. <sighs> but what would I know? True love is for the beautiful. I'm basically Cinderella. If Cinderella could quit her pity party, then maybe I could finish my book too. <sighs> I do believe in miracles. Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay! Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. Lindsay, stop that. You sound absurd. No, I sound absurd. The most dashingly handsome man to ever walk the face of this earth just winked at me. Which dashingly handsome man is this? The absolutely delightful manly man that just walked past us with his dog. And he winked at you. Yeah, no. I hear dog owners make for the best cuddlers. We own a dog. Which means we already have something in common. If he was really so interested that he winked at you, then why didn't he stop and talk to you as well? That's what I thought. No one is winking at you. As an immediate romantic passion that she had never felt before swelled within her, she spoke the only words that could properly express her true feelings. I love you, Luke. The echo of her princely-like manner. I love you too, Rachel. Where is my Luke? Hello, Luke. Oh, M, goodness. Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay! Let me take a wild guess. Stop me if I'm wrong. The man who just walked by winked at me, yes. Without a doubt, he is the one. God wants us to be together. Doubt it. Did you miss the woman whose hand he was holding? <laughs> or their wedding rings? He has a ring. Yeah, he has a ring. <sighs> Thebes, this needs to stop. When you meet the man God has for you, he'll be worth waiting for. But Lindsay! Waiting is hard. All my friends already have boyfriends. Okay, fine. You don't have to wait. Really? No. Go ahead. Roll the dice and marry some random guy who winks at you in the park. Maybe I will. Good. Have a couple kids with him, too. Then, later on, when you guys are divorced... Why would I ever get divorced? Because you married the first cute guy who winked at you. You wish you'd waited. Well, you can't be certain it wouldn't work out. You're right. Can't be 100% certain, but... If I were you, I wouldn't take this so lightly. Why can't you let me be happy? I do want you to be happy. I want you and the guy you marry to be happy together. Wow, you sound like you truly care. Besides, I don't want you bumming at my place when you're 40 because you and Mr. Wink at me in the park are having marital issues. Now that's Lindsay I know. Can I go back to reading or do you need more sisterly advice? You will never understand me. With tenderness and passion, Luke moved a solitary wisp of hair from Rachel's brow to behind her delicate ear. Rachel's heart quivered and skipped a beat as her eyes closed as Luke leaned in to give her the kiss of which she had spent long sleepless nights dreaming about. How was this at the Christian bookstore? Ah, oh, it don't make sense now. Okay, stay cool. Maybe Lindsay has a point. I should wait on God for a man. Then again, God works in mysterious ways. Hey, did you drop this?
What just happened? I was blinded by the light. I can't, even right now. This is what you meant earlier, Lindsay, when you talked about the man got intense for me. Well, yeah, I, I mean, no. I, what I meant was it would happen sometime in the future. This is the future, Lindsay. This cannot possibly be the future. Future. The time or a period of time following the moment of speaking or writing. This is the period of time following you speaking. Definition. Boom. Phoebe. Oh my word. What? 